What's going on guys? Indy here with Ultimate 2 Reviews. Now I've been doing kind of more of a long-term review on the Brunt Marlin work boots. And it, Brunt did something to me for free, but of course they said you can say whatever you want about them, and that's what I'm gonna do. Now I did get the chance to test these out for, I think I'm at about three months on these, four months on these now. Um, not too long. I wanted to go six months to a year, but unfortunately I ran into a bit of an issue where I'm gonna have to end the test here, unfortunately. Um, the big issue here being is that I am in Florida and one thing we have in Florida is significant amounts of rain. And what that means is the, I need to be wearing shoes that are very slip resistant. Of course I'm working, you know, it's going to be raining. We got curbs that are wet. I'm working on walking to my trailer on a gate that's going to be wet. And of course I need to be not slipping around while I'm carrying tools and equipment. And unfortunately these failed me. And I didn't get injured or anything, but there was a number of times where I was coming on my trailer and these things would slip really, really bad. Now I did reach back out to Brunt and here is the response that I got. Um, do they have a lot of wear? Well, if you want to check wear, here you go. Um, now I did say, I will say I put about, you know, probably at least a few miles in these shoes now, wearing them quite a bit. Um, I don't do a ton of walking for what I do, but you know, I do a lot of walking through grass and dirt and debris and trash. But yeah, honestly, these are not that well worn down. That the fact that I would be, you know, like losing a lot of tread wear, honestly, the shoes themselves held up amazing. You can see that, you know, there's not a lot of, you know, intense wear to them. And I mean, I've dropped stuff on these a lot. You know, I've done a lot of, you know, they, <clears throat> they've taken quite a bit of, you know, abuse, but they're holding up absolutely amazing. So, the one biggest thing to me is that they don't really have any anti-slip, anti-oil resistance on the soles. It doesn't say that anywhere about you know them being slip resistant or really anything, but for $150 for a pair of these, you think they would have it. Um, even my DeWalt boots that I paid for less than half this on sale at Home Depot are phenomenal. I also got a pair of new Irish settlers that I got in as well too that I also want to put these up against. So what I'm going to do guys, I'm just going to put some water on my garage concrete floor and I'll show you what I mean. All right, let's simulate a little bit of rainfall here in Florida and see what happens. All right, so if I just give each of these shoes a little push here over this puddle, let's see how far they kind of scoot. Yeah, the DeWalt's don't go very far. They seem like they have quite a bit of traction there. Let's try out the Irish Settlers here, make sure I get plenty of water on all the soles of these. A little bit farther than the DeWalt there. I can definitely push that pretty easily. Now let's try out the Brunts here. Ooh, <laughs> these actually are like sliding on ice here. <laughs> they actually move really, really easily here on this water. Okay, let's try this here on my trailer gate. I'm just gonna put a little water on here to, you know, simulate some rain. All right, so the DeWalt's really not moving at all. DeWalt's have always been quite impressive here with how much traction I always get, especially in wet surfaces. It rains a lot here in Florida and I'm always walking up and down the gate on this trailer. Let's try out the Irish Settlers here. Not bad at all with the air setters. They really seem like they really kind of grab onto the This is where I'm slipping definitely a lot. Here is, you can definitely feel that almost when I push down more, it feels like they just like to almost slide like glass here. There is definitely not a lot of friction here at all. I mean, yeah, this is my problem with these Brunt boots is they just slide way too easily. All right, guys, thanks for watching. And yeah, the sad news about the Brunt work boots here is Unfortunately, I don't think it's a design flaw or anything. I think it's just maybe they didn't have it in the budget to put the slip resistance into these shoes. Um, but they're definitely not the work boots for me, I will say that. Now, I can, of course, wear them, you know, when I'm mowing the lawn and stuff. That's not really where I need slip resistance in the grass entirely. But, you know, unfortunately, they're just not safe enough for me to wear because of the no slip resistance. And I have slept a number of times, uh, mostly on curbs, on my trailer gate where I have not had an issue with any other boots that I have owned, unfortunately. So yeah, unfortunately, I'm gonna pretty much stop my testing here because I just don't think they're safe to wear for the type of work that I do because of the no slip resistance. Um, so take whatever you want with that, guys. You know, take that with a grain of salt, of course. If you don't need slip resistance for what you're doing, these might be the great work boots for you. But unfortunately for me, because of that lack of that feature, they're just not something I can keep wearing. So thanks for watching, guys. Let me comment below what you think about the Brunt work boots. These are the Marlins uh, with the Comp Toe. And thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Have a great day.